I do. We've reached the end of a very, very busy transfer window for yeah. you and for the club. How would you assess the business that we've done? Very pleased, very pleased um, for for go through a very challenged um, period of uh, the transfer window. So I'm pleased as well the way we're working together. So because we went through all the process uh, properly. So I remember when I and Mikio presented to the board our summer project. Uh, the board came to me to him and said, "Whoa, this this is a lot." And then we say, "Yes." I know it's a lot, but with your support, I'm sure we can do that. So, and I'm, I'm pleased to see the way we went through every single uh, signing, every single decision uh, together, make the decisions together. So, and then we finalized the transfer window with almost done uh, 100% of what we planned. So that's why I'm very pleased with, with that. Can you discuss a bit more, outline the strategy that you had going into the window. Obviously, all the players are under the mm. age of 24. Mm. It's clear what you wanted to do, but tell us why you wanted to do that. Yeah, um, I think you have to see the, big, the bigger picture, to be fair. I know people want to understand a little bit more about this transfer window, which is quite clear for me, the direction you go. So uh, we signed six players. All the six players is under 23. So that's the direction you go to try to consolidate the squad, to try to give to the squad more balance and more future as well. But what I'd like to people to understand is to see the big picture. Because if you see a year ago as well, we started to make some decision in this direction. So we renew Bukayo Saka, we renew Martinelli in this period as well, just to give them some, uh, some direction the way, the way we try to go. So just to give you a context, we renew in, in one year's time five, seven contracts. Five of them is under 23s for the first team. Okay, and then in this period of summer to summer, we signed 10 players. Seven of 10 is under 23 as well. So what I'd like to explain is not about this summer. It's about the project. It's about what we wanna do. So we started the project. We are the middle, in, the, in the middle of the project as well. So we're not just one window and go. No, it's window, 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 window. So we have to consider every single step. Now is another one. I think this one will consolidate a big step. Uh, we are really pleased because, again, the players which we sign at, it's quite what we're looking for. So I see in Mikel the squad much more balanced in terms of age, profile, and in terms of some... Uh, players which can get, get a lot of responsibilities like a, like a Thomas, uh, like a Granite, uh, like a Aubameyang, like I said. So we see the balance in the squad today much better. But again, this is not the end. It's not the end. People have to understand we're still in the journey to go where this club deserves to be. One thing that's really noticeable about the six signings that you made mm. is... They're young, but they're not inexperienced, mm. are they? They're, they're not unknown. Sambi, for example, mm. we saw him make his debut mm. for Belgium. You know, mm. he's a guy who's captained Anderlecht. Mm. They, ha they, have a, they have a degree of experience despite mm. them being young. Yeah, so maybe you, you mentioned Sambi. Sambi is the one which played more than 16 games in, in Belgium. So we follow this player more than a year already. So Sambi can play in different positions, either number six, number eight. So when the strategy behind Sambi is because we have a two seniors players there, which is Granite and Thomas Partner, and Sambi will be the ones to replace them when it's necessary. So we already have a good example in the first game. So Thomas was injury, Sambi play. So that's, that's the strategy, to have someone uh, behind the seniors guys there uh, to play and to develop and to go one day to be uh, the main, the main um, player in, in the team. So if you want to go through every single one, it's quite similar. I can go through. So if you're talking about Hamisdale, Hamisdale is important as well. English in that position is important because we can balance the squads. Uh, good age and very good uh, with a good experience in the Premier League as well. So he's an international. Uh, and uh, for, 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 for us, so it's clear he has a beautiful future because he went through a challenge periods, but he always been through well. 
and he's so positive, he's so energetic player, which make us comfortable to sign him. So he's the one which is going to be for the short, for the medium and for the long term. So in our project, and that's why we sign him. If you go to Nuno, if you remember last season, we suffer a little bit in that position, on uh, left back position, because Tierney in the first half of the season, he did quite well. And at the second half of the season, he lost 48% of the games, which gave to Mikel some challenge to try to adapt to some players there. You remember in this period, so uh, when Tierney was injured, he has to adapt Bukayo Saka sometimes, Grant sometimes, in the period of the season, which was important to us to have a better balanced position. And that's why we go to Nuno, because Nuno is only 20, 21. So to feel and to balance that position as well for a player which is 23, is Tierney, and to have someone like a Nuno to develop, to give him a time, to be one day the first one, is the same. So I can go <laughs> every, every single position, there is a reason behind it. So, but the direction, I think, is quite clear to everyone. And how important was the character of the players? Let alone, we know what they can do yeah. in the pitch, but how yeah. important was it that you got the right type of players? That's, that's again, is we have to create some foundation and stronger one. It's not only about the characteristics of the players, the technicality of the players, so it's about the character of the players as well, the mentality of the players as well. So like I mentioned to you in the transfer window, I spoke to many of agents and players and uh, some of them, I say thank you very much because I don't see the right mentality to be here to try to change the situation we are now. So and then uh, when you interview, when you talk, when you see the character of the players and uh, you see the excitement of the player when you're talking about Arsenal, and then that's the, that's the energy what we need here in the squad. That's the energy here you have, we need around the club. So there's been a lot of focus on the club over the yeah. course of the summer, a lot of focus on the signings we've made, mm -hmm. but there's been some criticism that we've only made one sale. How would you address those concerns? Well, I, I, we, we find a very, very challenged window, not, not for Arsenal, for everyone. Uh, if you see, there's not many selling around, around the world. You know, um, there are a lot of um, loans with options to buy around the world. So we did two. So we have a Mateo Guanduzzi and Mavropanos, which is our, they are in that situation. So there are some obligations to buy as well. But listen, um, we work the way the market is well present to us. I cannot knock the door off the club to say, listen, I'm selling the player. You know, I think there is some message around, but you have to do as well what's the best for the club. Sometimes we have to change a little bit the direction. When you go, you have some ideas to sell the player, but it's not possible. And then you have to create an opportunity to sell in the future. And then you loan the player and see. So the way we did with Willock, Willock is a good example for us. So went to loan, play, expose, and then the market to see a little bit more and then came to sell and to buy. And let's see, maybe next window, we're going to be in better position in terms of selling. But right now, that's, that's our, our reality. We all know it's been a, a difficult start to the season on the pitch. Mm. So how would you assess where we are now that we've got the end, to the end of the transfer window, a bit of a break for, for an international break? How would you assess it? Listen, um, that's hurt us for sure. Um, that's a very uncomfortable situation to be. I understand of the reaction of the fans, of the media. I respect that because I work in, in different environments, which is always being really tough, really difficult. And that this is Arsenal. We have to accept that. We are where we never have to be. But we have to work to, 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 to leave this situation. There is a some reason why you're there. We have to accept that. We have to recognize the reasons. And now, so let's put the team together, let's play together, let's see the team together, because to be fair, until now, we haven't got the opportunity to see the team, and let's support them, let's be together. I always say, in this period, when we are um, exposed, it's really easy to everybody came and hit us. No problem, we have to accept that. But it's our responsibility as well, in this period, to be together, to working, 
and go through this, this difficult moment. So this kind of moment, it's important as well because you see who is who. Who wants to fight? Who wants to wants to step forward and say, listen, now you want to change it? Because we have a team to change it, to change it. We have the fans to change it. We have the right code to change it. We have the right players to change it. So now is a good moment to be together, to work as a team, to step forward and say, listen, guys, we have to change it as soon as possible. And we have a good opportunity because now we break like a 15 more days. Uh, we have a time to, to review the strategies. We have to time to review a lot of things and change it as soon as possible. And you've, you've always had a very strong working relationship with Mikel. Yeah. I, he must be feeling this as much as anyone at the club mm. and he'll be working overtime only yeah. to get this group back to where they, where they should be. Of course, me and we, we, of course, everybody know we have a very, very close relationship and every, every single uh, decision we make together with, of course, with the board here, um, but he needs all of our support, you know, because he is part of the, the team, it's not only him. We have to support him, we have to support the players. I need some support, so we need the support of everyone. But I don't want to only focus on Mikio, because there are a lot of people around Mikio. You know, to make that club go where we, we where we really expect it to be. You know, so that's that's for me is the main the main point.